Hello everyone. Now I'm going to tie a Mayfly Emerger. And this specific fly was very, very good. And it was a key fly for my trip in uh, Montenegro, River Lim. And the target species was Grayling. And the average one was like 40, 45. It, it was amazing. So I'm going to show you how to do this fly step by step and apart from grailing in this trip this fly was very successful one for me uh, for trout and any other species on, on Serbian rivers. So uh, I'm going to start the fly with the body quill color th 39 so uh, it's rather weak and not very strong material so don't put a lot of pressure on this and you don't have to because you're going to varnish this afterwards. So just start your fly like so and you're going to use instead of tail, this is a emerger pattern, we're going to put trailing shock at a, uh, as a key trigger point and the uh, trailing shock is this orangey, burnt orange color uh, because the, all those shocks of uh, insects have the same material in them as for example you know when a, when a crayfish changes it, its uh, let's say its skin shell uh, uh, that material is also for the shucks so I think it's called hitin I'm not quite sure uh, but you use a couple of strands of it as you can see not too many go back in order to create also taper and cut the excess so as I was saying, because that material has that this color, all of these shucks, they have the same color more or less. So you don't need, like, I, I use the same color of Antron for all the emergers, uh, no matter what the color of the body is. So I like to use this body quill material, because it's a little bit translucent also, and shiny a bit. So create a slight taper, and stop here. As you can see I left quite a bit of the hook here and the reason behind this is because I'm going to use hot I'm gonna make hot spot right now and I'm going to secure it with just as you can see one turn and then remove the excess okay now instead of adding additional wraps you can just make whip finish here and this is the way how to create this hotspot a little bit thicker okay now you can cut everything and finish off the fly with some varnish I mean it's not finished but finish off this certain uh, part of the fly now I'm going to use this kind of brush, I got it from a friend, I, I wouldn't know even where to buy it, I, th I just got it with some UV glue before, so big thanks to my friend, Rashko. So you can take a little bit of UV, you can see that the tip of the brush is just dipped, so just go as and fill in those gaps nicely okay after you finish this the only thing you need to do to clean this brush is just a piece of paper okay just like so and it's clean now cure this with a torch Now, instead of cutting this flush, you can just take anything, scissors or whatever, and go make a slight taper in it, like so. Okay, so it will represent this uh, shock a little bit more naturally. The flush cut doesn't seem, doesn't look so natural. Now, what I like to do is I like to use some thin but strong thread because I'm going to use uh, CDC for my next step and I want to secure it nicely I'm almost I almost run off 
out of this thread. So make a solid base here, like because the thread is slippery. So just secure it first very nicely. And then choose just one feather. And this feather, I showed this in a, one of the videos before. This feather we are going to use entirely. So it's going to be 100% used or 90%. So as I was saying before in my previous videos, it's like triangular or maybe diamond shaped feather, whatever you want to call it. Cut it, uh, catch it for this, uh, by the this uh, thickest part here. And just as you can see, few wraps are enough for start. And then you want to do what is this. Cut the thread, uh, catch the CDC, make this loop here and create this loop like maybe the half of the hook length like so transfer your hands and now you can see that this is going to be your wing which is too much now I don't want it so so long I'll make it shorter so that's why I didn't secure my CDC entirely at the beginning now you can do another final check as you can see halfway through and when you lift it it's gonna be more or less okay I like it a bit longer so it's more visible so just one mil and that's it secure the, the CDC nicely firmly and cut the excess here as you can see there is a slight taper when cutting the CDC so you can catch all those fibers again and it's almost impossible to pull it out. The next step is going to be to add a little bit of squirrel dubbing for the thorax not all of it don't, don't worry so just like so one two it's like one centimeter and a five, 1.5 centimeters not more than that and this is maybe too much so you just want a little bit of thorax here now as you can see I left quite a bit of space for the head and you will see why as I said loop is half the way of the hook transfer your hands now with a couple of wraps secure this you're almost done because this is olive mayfly and uh, male mayflies of this species they have kind of red head I'm gonna color the thread in red and now look at this I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now first you go with your thread to the eye of the hook and then go backwards as long as you want your head to be now fold back this thread and catch this with two turns now as you can see this is almost impossible to break because you locked the CDC now with your whip finish and holding with the thumb and forefinger holding everything on the top with your whip finish secure everything and position it for the final look of your fly I like to use two whip finish knots and that's it this is finished fly uh, I recommend that you use this fly with fine tippets 16 and the uh, size 18 are the most uh, the most the best sizes and the most successful ones and this is how it's supposed to look like it's going to go under the water with the body and trailing shock so you're going to see just those wings when they disappear just set a hook it's very easy fly as you can see and it's very effective fly so thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next week